Through the power waterway, the water from the reservoir is conveyed to the powerhouse for generating electricity. The power waterway comprises an intake structure with gate shaft, an almost horizontal headrace tunnel, a manifold, and three steeply inclined pressure shafts. Excavation of the power waterway with conventional drill and blast method commenced in late 2006 and was completed in year 2008. For the excavation of the three penstocks with the inclination of 52 degrees and 100 meters length, the raised boring method was used in a first stage for creating a 1.5 meter diameter glory hole. This glory hole was used to continue shaft excavation by conventional drill and blast method, with mucking the excavated material through the glory hole. The almost horizontal section of the headrace tunnel is provided with a 70 centimeter thick concrete lining from the intake to chainage 498. The concrete lining was constructed with two shutter formworks. It took about eight months to complete the invert concrete lining, and about ten months to complete the arch concrete. The entire concrete lining of the headrace tunnel was completed in December 2008. The steel lining of the remaining part of the headrace tunnel, the manifold, and the penstocks was prefabricated at the contractor's fabrication yard, and transported in segments through the aided one. For the penstocks, the steel rings were unloaded from the truck onto specifically made funicular cars, and slowly hoisted down the inclined penstocks. Backfill concrete was placed each time after one steel ring had been erected and welded. For the steel lining of larger diameter, segments of the circle were transported to the tunnel, erected and positioned in place, and jointed by welding. The manifold was the most complicated steel-lined part of the power waterway. Three-dimensional computer models were used to design the fabrication drawings and the individual segments. The installation of the manifold steel lining started in December 2008, and continued throughout the whole year of 2009. The final piece of the manifold, which incorporates a manhole with bulkhead door, was installed in January 2010, followed by the construction of the last portion of backfill concrete with access gallery to the manhole, which is required for future maintenance work. Grouting at the power waterway involved void filling at the crown of the tunnel, consolidation grouting, and curtain grouting. A three-row grout curtain fan is provided at block number 37 of the headrace tunnel. This grout fan is connected to the grout curtain of the dam to form a continuous cutoff. Excavation of the gate shaft started from elevation 374 in May 2007, after the slope excavation was completed. The 40 meter deep shaft has a circular cross section of 15.5 meters diameter. Shaft excavation was also done by conventional drill and blast method, from the top to bottom. The gate shaft is one part of the power intake structure and required to accommodate and operate the intake gates and stop logs. The power intake structure is a single intake of bell mouth shape with a width of 34 meters. It is constructed of reinforced concrete with an average thickness of one meter. In front of the bell mouth intake, a steel trash rack is installed to prevent debris entering the power waterway system, which could damage the turbines during operation. The intake also comprises a portal crane on top of the gate shaft, two stop logs, and two fixed wheel gates installed inside the gate shaft for controlling water inflow to the power waterway system.